Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In Coronation Street, Adam Barlow takes a significant risk in his attempt to exact revenge on Damon Hay. Adam and Harvey Gaskell met a few weeks ago and devised a strategy. Essentially, Harvey will get rid of Damon for Adam in exchange for the solicitor developing a successful appeal case to convince the courts that Harvey did not murder Nanisha Blakeman. Regardless, he totally did. Adam's emotions are tested again when he sees Sarah helping Damon move his belongings into the flat on her birthday. Later, Adam meets with Dee Dee and Joel and plans to tell a big falsehood to achieve what he wants. He questions the couple about a weapons case he's worked on and wonders whether they've had any similar experiences. As Damon distributes shots to Audrey Gale, Bethany, Nick, and Sarah and proposes a toast to Sarah's birthday, Adam shoots him with daggers. But when Dee Dee and Joel arrive, they inform Adam that they believe they have broken his case. Later in the week, Adam meets with Harvey again and says that the only way to ensure the success of the appeal is to blame Nadish's death on someone else. Leon Battersby quickly discovers the full extent of Simon Barlow's drinking problem on Coronation Street. Simon's family has grown increasingly concerned about his alcohol intake in recent weeks. In a way, he is becoming his father, Alex Bain explained. I believe Leonie can see this and is concerned that he has pressed the self-destruct button. I'm wondering if it's always been there. There was that occasion when he was younger and passed out from drinking. With his father's addiction, it was always possible that he would follow in his footsteps. In forthcoming episodes of the ITV soap, Simon awakens on the sofa with another thumping headache. As Bobby cleans up after a party, Simon steals a drink of vodka. Back home, Nick requests that Simon drive Sam to his chess competition while he goes shopping with Toya. As they set out, Simon, who is over the limit, loses control of the automobile and collides with the road sign. Finally, a guilty Simon admits to Leonie that he pranged her car, but when she insists on reporting it to the police, Simon refuses and discloses that he was over the drink drive limit. Leonie is horrified. What will she do next? He isn't an outright villain. He is not the type of person who exudes confidence. He may appear confident, but he is not. I believe he is simply a shattered individual who does not have anyone looking out for him and has suffered with a lot, from losing his mother at such a young age to now being abandoned by his father. He is looking for someone to care for him. He has never had a person who prioritizes him above all else. I believe he simply wants someone to be there for him to be his person. Things appear to be improving for Bernie Taylor in EastEnders next week when Nish Panasar gives her a new post at his restored cafe but he swiftly takes offense. Bernie had a difficult few months following the departure of her family and the disappearance of her brother Keanu. She's also lived hand to mouth, straining to make ends meet with the money she earned as the Queen Vic's breakfast chef. Spending Christmas Day alone, curled under blankets to stay warm, she pretended to be excited when her mother Karen video called, boasting about her new life in Spain. Next week, Bernie takes the effort to please Nish, and he rewards her by not only promising to restore her as a waitress at the Bridge Street Cafe, but also promoting her to manager. However, her happiness is short-lived when she accidentally plays an old voice note from Kinu on her phone. Nish overhears this and publicly chastises Bernie. He and Kinu had a physical fight in the Queen Vic just weeks before Linda murdered him. Denise Fox, Diane Parrish, broke a bottle around Nish's head the same evening, and he's been attempting to put together what happened since, unconscious that Kiana's body lies buried beneath the floor of his new greasy spoon. With his memory slowly returning, he appears to remember that Kiana did not attack him because he was not at the tavern at the time. Nish appears to be on a mission to make new enemies in the coming week, as cracks appear in his relationship with Kat, when she refuses to wear a disgusting new coat he has given her and reprimands her for questioning Priya's work ethic. Karen returns to Walford on the day the cafe reopens. Will she defend Karen Bernie has from been Nish's fiercely protective of her family from her first appearance on the show, so we wouldn't want to be in Nish's shoes when she learns of his verbal attack on her much-loved daughter. Tracy Barlow has been playing with fire in recent Coronation Street scenes after starting a steamy relationship with professional footballer-turned-painter and decorator Tommy Orpington. 
Tracy brought in Tommy after her husband Steve McDonald kept putting off her request to remodel their bedroom, but she was disappointed when Tommy arrived late. Tracy's eye wandered quickly after Steve left the country and she and Tommy were soon enjoying a passionate kiss. Despite their insistence that it meant nothing, they were back at it moments later, and it was evident that this would not be the last time. However, they may be rumbled in subsequent moments when Steve comes from France earlier than expected, only to discover Preston's pedals all locked up, according to a new spoiler video. Steve pounds on the door, arguing that he knows Tracy is inside, oblivious that she is not alone. Tracy carefully opens the door after just kissing Tommy, as Steve asks if she's startled to see him. Tracy uses a classic, smart comment to conceal her shock, and Steve appears completely unconcerned. Until Tommy shows that is it. Steve is clearly taken aback to witness his favorite footballer casually hanging out in a locked room with his wife, but will he catch on to what is really going on between them? Is Tommy and Tracy's love affair doomed before it even begins? Coronation Street's first wedding of the year appears to be on its way as Nick Tilsley purchases the ideal gift for long-term girlfriend Lean Battersby. Long-time viewers will recall that the couple first met shortly after the troublesome Battersby family crashed onto Coronation Street, becoming Emily Bishop's nightmare neighbors and causing havoc in the aisles of Furman's freezers, causing shop assistant Alma Baldwin to panic. Nick had returned from a trip to Canada with Uncle Stephen Reed and it wasn't long before Lini was fawning over him as he took on a new job at the garage. Wedded happiness did not last long, however, as the couple split up when Lini became pregnant and both decided to an abortion. Over a decade later, Nick came home to Weatherfield, albeit it took a time for the pair to eventually establish affection for each other again, with their second wedding ceremony taking place at the beginning of 2013. In true Corey tradition, both couples have subsequently been unfaithful, with Nick marrying twice and Leon giving birth to a kid fathered by Steve McDonald, yet they remain inseparable. In recent weeks, the childhood sweethearts have faced new upheaval, with Leon's adoptive son Simon returning to their flat, losing his job, and searching for answers at the bottom of a bottle. Coming up, Nick will invite Toya Habib to accompany him shopping, and Simon will drive his son Sam to his chess match, unaware that he has spent the night drinking and is above the limit. En route, Simon loses control of the car and crashes into the road sign, aggravating Lini and frightened young Sam. Meanwhile, Nick and Toya admire the stunning engagement diamond he has purchased, intending to propose to Lini for the third time. How will Lean react to their third attempt, and will Simon's misbehavior jeopardize their wedding? En route, Simon loses control of the car and crashes into the road sign, infuriating Leaning and terrifying young Sam. Meanwhile, Nick and Toya admire the beautiful engagement ring he's bought, planning to propose to Lean for the third time. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.